I see Henry as like a superhero. It is the hardest self-supported bike race in the world and the longest. So I made sure to, you know, kind of intercept him at some point. Your race, you're racing across Canada. How's that going? It's been great so far. Henry Doe is racing across Canada, and right now he's making his way through central Ontario. The 35-year-old Montreal man has been an avid cyclist since 2012 and says this latest adventure is the latest in his quest for challenges to surmount on two wheels. We caught up with him thanks to his live tracker as he made his way through the GTA. Doe telling us while the race is going well, he's relieved for the Toronto heat after a few bouts of chilly weather on the way. I is it not too hot? No, I actually enjoy it because I camp outside at nights. On his bike, everything from a GPS, chargers, water, snacks, and camping equipment. Right on his body, bear and mosquito spray, more chargers, and this. That too is important being outside oh, yeah. all day long. Camping at night, I just have to make sure there's no bears because there's a lot, of, a lot of wildlife in Yukon, right? So that was one of my biggest fears was uh, encountering bears and not knowing what to do. But so far it's been great and you just have to take a chance, take a leap of faith. So it is 12,500 kilometers and 11 times Everest in terms of altitude gain. The founder of the race saying this is the first year of the event, describing it as an ultra, where participants don't necessarily start at the same time, but rather when they choose within a window of time. Yeah, you basically show up at a starting line and a timer starts. And the timer ends when you arrive in, uh, so we start from Whitehorse, and it ends when you arrive in St. John's, uh, Newfoundland. During that time, if you're stopping to sleep, if you're stopping to eat, uh, all of these things, it keeps running. He's been doing this for a long time, so you know what, it made sense and it didn't come to me as a surprise. Henri's sister lives just outside Toronto in Markham. She says she's excited for her brother and thinks about him a lot. Went through Yukon and BC with all the bears, so that was super worried and I'm already worried by nature when he does all these long trips, but uh, you know, I have to say I'm just super proud of him. Super, super proud of him. Elise, along with her family, also getting to rendezvous with Henri and cheer him on through the city. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Montreal, one of his best friends echoing that pride, saying they've been cycling together for nearly two years and describing him as a superhero. Whatever he says he's gonna do, I know, I trust that he can do it, even though it seems impossible to everyone. You have a thing with ice cream. Yes, <laughs> so ice cream is pretty much my main fuel. Um, not because there's a lot of sugar, not because it's good for cycling, but more because it makes me happy. Henri has now left the GTA and is heading out to Quebec before heading on to the Maritimes for the finish line. In Markham, David Zura, City News.